Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I want to talk about something really, really specific and something very important. I've talked in the past about how to protect your collection, how to protect the actual disc from physical damage. So you, we have different options for that. Um, I'll probably leave a video either up here or in the description and how to protect your collection. Now let's talk about a different way of protecting your collection. Now I am not being paid by anybody. Uh, this is a company, so please do your own research. I haven't purchased anything from any company yet, so please be diligent on your research. So, <clears throat> collectibles and insurance. Um, I remember <clears throat> talking to my insurance company, and they did not cover any of the collectibles per se. So, step number one on how to get your insurance will be to talk to your home insurance if you have renter's insurance or anything like that because I know you guys have some enormous collections I have a semi big it's small compared to some of you guys I've seen out there with whole house collections thousands almost 10,000 movies so please if you don't have insurance as of now please look into getting an insurance quote and getting an insured I mean, if you already have that big of a collection and you spend that much money, you can spend what's equivalent to what? Two, three movies and protect your whole collection. So that, that to me is a very, very smart investment. Like I said, I'm not selling you anything. There's no affiliate links except for the Amazon <laughs> links in the bottom, which that's a different thing. So nobody's paying me for this. Now, I just chose this company because I emailed a lot of companies and because of the crisis, the shutdown, some of them have not reached back to me. They did reach back to me within days. I emailed them and they were really quick. So that sometimes tells you something. If the customer service is that quick, maybe their service is going to be that quick and good. So first step, talk to your insurance company. Second step, start shopping around. Go to collectibles. People that, um, companies that insure comic books, stamps, toys, they don't specifically say movies or art, but email them, ask them. I have these specific movies. They're steelbooks. They're premium. They're one of a kind. Always get a, a value, an estimated value of your collection. So let's go with this company. It's called Collectibles Insurance. And if you see why insure, what we insure, if you look here, it says sports cards, comics, guns, knives, art, fine art, toys, stamps, collectibles. What we don't insure, we could click there. So, it's, you know, just to see what they don't. So they don't insure animals, bullion, which is like metals, gold, explosive, furs, obviously gold, insects, jewelry, motor vehicles, perishables, plants, watches containing precious gems. Because <clears throat> there's insurance specifically for those things. They don't talk about not insuring movies. And if you see here, art and fine art, maybe it falls into this. But I, I you know what? I said, mm, let me ask them because this is very specific. So I emailed them. I went back and forth. And I actually received a quote. And mind you, this is just, I just pulled the, the number out of the air, okay? So I pulled my collection as $8,000. And they estimated my cost to be at $67 annual cost. This also is regarding my area code, my zip code and where my collection is going to be at. So your zip code determines a lot of the prices and all this. There's a whole bunch of, of this art of how to insure things. So if you look at this, <clears throat> they're insuring me at $8,000 for $67 annual cost that's I mean that's that's great now you will have to go and make sure you talk and you get all the specifics done and how will they replace are they gonna just give you the money for their value or are they going to replace it and then remember if they're gonna try and replace it we have different versions of a movie so make sure you have everything very specific if if you want your steelbook that it's completely out of print replace the exact same way then you have to talk about that you have to be very specific on that because 
remember they don't know about this stuff so they 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 may know about comics they may know about stamps but maybe they have nobody there that knows about the specifics of our our collecting scene our the movies and all that stuff so this is one of the companies there is a whole bunch of them please make sure you look into your your collection right now start getting an estimate always uh, have a list of your collection that's that's the number one thing having a list of what you own estimated cost of replacement and then talk to them record it you can make a video you can make uh, take pictures for insurance purposes <clears throat> so like my videos for my whole movie collection that would be a great way to catalog my whole collection because then you can see one by one what I own and what format exactly how it is so this I believe this covers um, theft covers destruction by like fire water acts of nature etc so it's a pretty good insurance but I will also talk to your some insurance comes some home in owners insurance will cover some of the stuff but you may need some additional uh, insurance so talk to them talk to your insurance company catalog your items make a a record of it save that video somewhere else outside of your house they always it's always recommended you can do even a video of your whole house while you're at it and then save that video off off the house so let's see in the cloud on Google Google Drive Google Photos save it somewhere else so if your house gets burnt down you just don't lose your catalog so save it off-site um, and please think about insuring your your collection I'm gonna be thinking about this I'm going to most likely do this because my my insurance my collection is growing and growing and I hope to grow more so I'm going to absolutely look into this to get my collection insured and have that peace of mind that if something happens, I'm covered at least somehow, some way I could recover some of my collection. Some of my pieces are not going to be ever uh, recovered. Some stuff that maybe if I do get an autograph or some items that let's say my HD Zeta there is a specific serial number that if I lose it, then that's it. They only made 187, the number 187 out of 500. So if I do recoup, I may not even get the matching ones. But at least I will have it back. So that is it for today, guys. If you like this video or you have any comments, uh, anything you could help the, the community in, in this insurance, if you do have insurance, please let us know. Uh, leave it in the comments. What insurance company you have? How did you deal with it? Any recommendations, guys? So let's help the community and let's get these uh, collections insured. So if you liked the video, thumbs up. Think about subscribing and catch you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.